All right. So our little tour is going to take us through the double lodge gates and in past the east side complex there, which I now think is called the Peter Rogers building, up the main road, <clears throat> and then we'll turn left here and we'll go into the gardens. There's the Warner Lodge, that's for Warner Brothers. This car park is where I used to park. And here are where lots and lots of sets and lots of films have been made. And the majority of what we are going to see when it comes to gardens and things will be in this area here. Um, and then we'll carry on up through here, up towards the paddock tank, past the U stage, which is the underwater stage. And not on this map, but out in this area here will be a street set. Um, and then once we've visited this street set, we shall work our way back past the paddock tank and up this paddock lane. And then through the stages here. Uh, so the main stages, the big stages, the massive buildings, and all the workshops, and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't really have anything out the back here. You can see it's literally just visual effects and whatnot. But um, My Week with Marilyn definitely takes us up through here. You've got Carpenter's Road. Um, and here you see Covered Way, and there's quite a nice exciting bit that goes through there. Um, and then, like I said, back up through Carpenter's Road, past the Foley Theatre, which is not there anymore, because there is, right where it says Zoom and Car Park, there is a Richard Attenborough stage. Um... And I think all of that went, but we shall finish off. We'll come out the side here, past this lovely big blue 007 stage, and out to the back lot, which is that north lot there. Um, so, if you can find this map online. And print yourself off a copy. Nothing really to show you regarding the new entrance. You can sort of see it in my video I did. Um, how physical media is made. Where I ended up at Pinewood. Um, this straight bit here next to this coach horse, coach house car park. Was actually a timekeeper's entrance. That's also featured in my video. Um, but yes, Double Lodge is where we're going to start. This was the original main entrance to Pima Studios. So, this is the Double Lodge where you saw me standing. This is the uh, entrance. All this roofing here, this is what used to be the Eastside Complex building. But we will get to see that from a much, much better angle. Um, and then what we'll do... We'll come through here and through this little road. You won't actually see this, but basically, if we were to be in the studio physically, we would be coming through here and we come up to these trees here and it would lead us into the gardens behind the mansion. So this is the mansion. These are now called the Hitchcock Rooms at the back here. I did a drum clinic in there, I took my drums in, just to let people have a go. Um, then we come out into the gardens. Now, this is clearly not the best view I can give you, but um, I'm trying my best. Uh, <clears throat> so there's a big set that was built here. Um, and you'll get to witness that. But then... Um, before this was as overgrown as it is now, you'll definitely see in one of the Bond films that we're going to look at, 
Uh, and also, um, if you have it, Carry On Up the Kyber also features this area. Um, but we'll be carrying on up through the gardens here. Now, a lot of this is covered. What you saw on the other map, there's a lot more sort of detail with the path and whatnot. Um, and basically, you sort of walk out through here. Uh, so this is U stage, the underwater, basically it's a big water tank in there and they do a lot of the underwater shots for like James Bond and all that kind of thing there. Um, so we would come out through the trees and we could see the paddock tank over there, but we'll be coming back out here to this bit, which is just about on the picture. And that is, um, where the street set now is. So then we'll go back up to the paddock tank. We'll see something that was shot using the entire paddock tank. And I have a little story of uh, a little walk that my now wife and I came on, uh, on one of our dates, way before we were married. And essentially what we'd do and do is we'd walk up through here um, past these buildings and sorry about the shakiness but the um, Marilyn Monroe film will show us all up here um, and in these buildings here and we'll walk up well we won't physically walk up but we can pretend that we're walking up because you're going to see all this on the screen and then we'll go through this cover here and then out the back <clears throat> and quite possibly this here and this used to be a foley stage that i was telling you about but then we're gonna carry on all the way up here to a set that i witnessed here and then a big finale set which was built all around here and then if you'd like, you can join me inside this lovely 007 stage for a bit of a party. Um, and we can watch AHA perform The Living Daylights in a very empty 007 stage. And there we go. That's kind of the best overview flyover of Pima Studios I can give you. So let's get to the movies and uh, let's walk around, shall we?